What is up guys? Welcome back to the channel today. We got a great video. What can I say? I mean, they're all great. I need to quit saying that, but this one, I'm telling you, top notch. Holiday season is fast approaching. At the time I'm recording this video, we are eight days out from Christmas. And I don't know about with you guys, but for me, holidays are always the biggest temptation, especially when I'm traveling out of state. I'm staying in hotels. I don't have access to my routine, everything, my kitchen, my grocery shopping, all that stuff, right? It's really easy to flub your diet. Too easy if we're being honest. So today, my goal with this video is I'm going to hit my macros, my shredding macros a hundred percent on point using nothing but fast food we'll be stopping at multiple restaurants i'm gonna be ordering multiple things i'm gonna eat all of them show you guys what they are break down the nutritional profiles why you should get them why you should avoid other things we're just gonna have a lot of fun man so next time you're in a pickle you don't got food with you you're feeling a little hungry you can pull something away from this video man and not fall off your diet keep making gains keep getting shredded you know what i mean you know what i mean so if you guys are ready for another epic remington james video then as always man i'm here to do it for you let's do it yeah! So it's about 9.15 in the a.m., which means it's time for meal one, and we're gonna hit an American classic. Hey, we made it. The Golden Arches, man. Don't disrespect MacDon. Yeah, can I just get uh, two egg white delights? Okay. And that will be it. Thank you. Thank you. Have a nice day. Thank you. you. Thank you. A lot of people like to shit on McDonald's and say it's not good, but I mean, it's good. Good for you, eh. but it's good. Yep. Thank you. Thank you. It's go time, man. We got meal one. Let me take the seatbelt off so I can break this down a little better. Oh shit, I lost it. But meal one today is going to be not one, but two egg white delights, baby. You know how long it's been since so I've seen this yellow packaging? Nostalgic. Get rid of that bag. And what these are is essentially egg white, Canadian bacon, and cheese on a English muffin. And what I love about these is they taste really good, and when you're on the go and need something in a pinch, only 250 calories a piece, low in fat, high in protein. For two of these guys right here, it's 14 grams of fat, 36 grams of protein, and 64 grams of carbs, which adds up to 500 calories. For meal one, these work great for me, man. Get a load of that, bro. I hate eating in my car because I get crumbs everywhere and I never eat in my car. And these English muffins like shed like a dog, man. What is that right there? What is that on the top? Something just falls off all over my CD player now. Come on. Don't give her a go. You guys ready? Three, two, one, let go. Yep, Ronald McDonald still got it. Seriously, I don't know when the last time is you had one of these, but if you've been eating clean for a minute, these are way better than you remember. I'm cool with it, I'm cool with it. So back in the day, before I got into this whole fitness thing, I was a big fan of these sausage McMuffins, right? But just a little note for you, something to think about. One sausage McMuffin, right, is 480 calories, which is almost the exact same calories as two of these, except you get a lot more fat and less protein, which isn't what we want here, man. It's all about the macros. You want a high protein, you wanna try to keep fat as low as possible, because that's the biggest thing with fast food, is fat adds up so quick, which you'll see later in the video, I'll keep pointing things out. But little tweaks like that, man, instead of two sausage McMuffins, you get two egg white delights, they're still good, but there goes half the calories and you get more protein and less fast like you can't lose that way man mindful eating all right i got one more of these to eat i got a couple errands to run then i'm gonna check in with you guys for fast food meal number two let's go Ready to eat some fast food, bro? Let's see, boy. Let's go. Such a beautiful day like this. Ank didn't have nothing going on, so he's gonna accompany me for the rest of this video. That's right, I'm gonna watch. You, gonna, you ain't gonna eat? I'm gonna eat something. All right, he gonna eat something. something. If you don't know who he is, you, you gotta, right? Yeah, now you know. Now you know. Now you know. Link in description. I'll do a uh, six inch steak and cheese uh, on wheat with a double steak. Meal two, we are at Subway. Now, I know Subway advertises that like their food's healthy and all that, which you can get pretty good meals here, but the key is you want the carbs to be lower and the protein to be higher. So what I got is a double steak and cheese, six inch sub on wheat with uh, some spinach. So what that puts us at for meal number two, 14 grams of fat, 41 grams of protein, 52 grams of carbs, 490 calories. Something to keep in mind here, right? I like to keep my carbs lower. If you were to get a foot long, you're gonna double your carbs, you're gonna essentially be over 100 grams of carbs at one meal and I don't want to do that. So what, so what my recommendation is, half the size of the sub, double the size of the meat, and you're gonna win that way, baby. Let's go ahead and give her a little try here, man. What do you think, you think it's gonna be good? The subway is always good. It's man. always good, man. Enough talking, let's go. Three, two, one. 
Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And what'd you get, bro? Same exact thing, except I got some more veggies than he did, and just a smidge of light mayo. <laughs> just a tiny bit. I gotta have some sauce. Man. No, I, I feel it. I mean, say what you want about Subway. Still good. There we go. Always good, bro. Always. Well, we just sat in Subway for about an hour and a half, having a little business meeting. Yeah, that was a minute. That's what I love about uh, what we do, man. We can have business meetings at Subway. <laughs> <laughs> it's the corporate it's the corporate headquarters of Final Boss. <laughs> Double meat only. Our Final Boss Athletics launch was so successful, we have been planning our next launch, our next release. So we're looking at a spring release. We got four new items in the works, which is awesome. Got a few more that we're kind of playing around with, but we're gonna have another launch coming soon. In the meantime, though, you wanna cop yourself a dope hoodie. And let me, like, for example, it's like 50 degrees here in Houston today. Look at that, baby. No undershirt. Damn, look at that blinging. I gotta put that there to keep the ladies from looking at my upper chest shelf. <laughs> <laughs> but these hoodies are like perfect for when it's like this weather. You just wear the hoodie, you rock it. Or if you got some padded sleeves you wanna show off, final boss three quarter. Can't really go wrong with either, can you? Nah, man. We look good. We do. Too good sometimes. A lot of you guys out there look good too. Yep. I've seen the pictures. Let's all look good together, man. And if you're posting, don't forget to tag us at Final Boss Nation and our personal accounts mm -hmm. on Instagram. Anyways, it's been a little bit of time. Can you eat again? I can always eat again so can i blessing and a curse let's go chipotle you can never go wrong with if you're trying to eat clean except if it's about noon and you got a line all the way to the back Boom. Meal three is going to be Chipotle. No matter what diet you're on, you can kind of like tweak Chipotle however you want it. So today for it to fit my macros, all I did was double steak, black beans. We got pico de gallo and lettuce. It's a pretty big bowl here, but the macros on it, we got 13 grams of fat, 50 grams of protein, only 29 grams of carbs and 440 calories. A couple tips about Chipotle. As much as we all love the burritos, if you add one tortilla here that adds 290 calories to your overall meal. And I know people too, they love the tortilla chips. I used to get them all the time, and then I found out 570 calories are in one order of tortilla chips, and that gives you 73 grams of carbs and 27 grams of fat. So key here is, man, keep it simple. I got four things. Steak, we got black beans, we got pico de gallo, which is basically tomatoes and some onions, and lettuce. Keep us low calorie, keep our protein high, to keep me moving throughout the course of the day. Quick, easy way to do it. Like I said, if you avoid the sour cream, if you avoid the cheese, I know they're gonna make it taste a little better, but you don't need it. It's just unnecessary calories, so. I mean, you can't, the steak's buried underneath, but let me give you a bite here. See, look at that, man, some steak, some black, hold on, put a leaf of lettuce on there, <laughs> complete bite. And by itself, that's still good, but you gotta add a little sauce, man. I need you to comment below which sauce is the best. I'm, I'm a green man, been a green man for years. What about you? That Chipotle Tabasco. The man. Chipotle Tabasco? Yeah. He likes that Chipotle, I like that green. All my favorite things in life are green. But yeah, which one do you like? Comment below. But this is meal three, and uh, I think we got probably one more meal left, so I'm gonna eat this, and then we got us another one coming. All right, guys, it is almost 4 p.m., which means I'm gonna eat my final meal of the day. I just tallied up the macros. I got a lot of protein to hit, so we gotta somehow get in a lot of protein, keep fat down, and we have a little bit of carbs to play with, but I have an idea. Let's go. Hey, 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 it's Chick-fil-A. Home of the original chicken sandwich. I'm game with it. All right, hold on, I gotta look at my order here. Let me get char-grilled chicken sandwich, 12 and then a six. Just the entree? Yeah, just the nuggets. Thank you so much. Y'all knew the work I put in for these angles. Y'all would hit that like button every single time and you'd leave a comment, but what can I say? I'm just one man out here doing his best. Thank you. God. Roll that window up. My nipples are getting a little hard. All right, I'm gonna see, I, you know what? This is the final mail, so we're gonna take this mug home, man. I'm gonna see you guys at the crib. Boom, through the power of editing and the expense of some gasoline, we are back home. So to fill up my macros, I needed quite a bit of protein. So what I got was a grilled chicken sandwich, char grilled, plain, cause a lot of times if I'm eating out at a restaurant, I don't know exactly what they're gonna put on it. Sometimes they're gonna like give you a grilled chicken sandwich and then put like some 200 calorie sauce on it. I ain't cool with none of that. So I just get them plain. And then what we got here, I've never had these either. Off the top, these are grilled nuggets. I wasn't sure how they would come being the grilled nuggets, but it looks like they just take a grilled chicken breast and cut it up. So basically pure protein 
protein right here, which is gonna solve our protein problem. So before I try this out, the final meal of the day ends up having 11 grams of fat, 104 grams of protein, and 36 grams of carbs, which ends up being 640 calories. And for anybody wondering the quantity, I got 18 grilled nuggets, just in case. So I'm gonna go ahead and try this chicken sandwich. Let's see how she is, man. Three, two, one. I mean, it's bread and grilled chicken. You don't get much more plain than that. See if the grilled nuggets have any redeeming qualities here. Three, two, one, let go. I mean, this gets the job done. Is it delicious by any means? No, I'm not salivating here, but it gets the job done. But I know what I can get, so spice it up a bit. Hold up. G's on top, yeah. G is like the perfect wingman. He ain't greedy and is gonna make sure you get yours, but if the opportunity arises, he's gonna get on top. God, G. My man, get a front row seat. See if that helps a little bit. If y'all remember the Popeyes versus Chick-fil-A spicy chicken sandwich video, I had people commenting that I messed up by not getting the Chick-fil-A sauce. So I decided, who is calling me? Hello? Hey, this is the reach now team today about having your business become part of the Amazon Alexa network. Hello? It's in over 100 million Hello? Dude, that was the realest sounding machine I've ever heard. They're taking over. Have me for a second. So everybody was telling me I needed to try the Chick-fil-A sauce after the Popeyes video, right? So I Googled it, right? Just to see what the nutrition facts were, man. And one packet of that sauce, right? Keep in mind, next time you hit Chick-fil-A, 140 calories. And the only things in it is 13 grams of fat and six grams of carbs. And every one of those grams is sugar. So imagine you get two or three of those packets. That is my like entire day's worth of fat in packs of sauce. I asked for mustard. They gave me this honey roasted barbecue. I can't trust that. First ingredient is soybean oil. The second is sugar. I, I ain't fooling with that. So keep that in mind. When you're eating out, you're doing fast food, like, you know, like that little stuff adds up. If you get a sauce packet at every restaurant, boom, you're over your calories for the day, right? Eat it plain, you suffer through it, or you bring your own sauce, way better off. So to wrap it all up, man, my entire day's worth of eating, if you add everything I ate up together, I was able to hit 52 grams of fat, which for me, when I'm shredding, I always keep my fat between 50 to 70 grams. The further I get into a shred, typically it falls down to around 50 grams, 55. So for me, that's a big win if I'm trying to get shredded. My protein ended up hitting 231 grams total, which for me is perfect. I usually keep my protein right around 1.3 to 1.5 times my body weight. Right now, I weigh around 178 pounds. So you do that math, it's right there at about 230, and for me, that's perfect. And then my carbs are at 181 grams on this program. So for me, when I'm shredding, that's usually where I start my carbs at on a cut. It's around the 180 mark, so once again, perfect for me. And then my overall calories, I ended up hitting 2,070, which, for me, my body type, my activity levels, my training, my cardio, that is perfect. If you guys watched my last series, the last cut I did, we got shredded and my macros were almost identical to that. And I was able to hit it today in fast food. Now, you're like, Rem, that's great, but there's gotta be some downsides. And I'll name a couple here. First and foremost, downside number one is the price. So I added up all the receipts right here, right? Every one of them. To eat all this today, it cost $49.71. The biggest offender was the Chick-fil-A and the Chipotle. Chick-fil-A was like, 16 bucks and the Chipotle was 12.29 and the Subway was 14. So really they were, I mean, extra meat anywhere is gonna cost you. So from a cost effective standpoint, cooking at home is definitely the better option. And then number two, what would be wrong with this trying to follow this every day? Not that I think you'd get results off of it, but you don't know exactly what you're getting, right? Cause like, who's to say each of these nuggets is exactly an ounce? right? Who's to say we're actually getting four ounces of protein in this sandwich, right? You never know. Who says the bread has as many carbs as they say? You don't know exactly. One loaf might be bigger than another. So at the end of the day, when you do this, it's you don't know exactly what you're putting in your body. And I find when you're weighing, you're tracking, you're logging, you're following an actual meal plan, you're going to get the best results because you control everything that's going on in your body. But doing it this way, right? If you're traveling, you're somewhere on holiday or whatever, this is a way better alternative than just saying, screw it, bro. Nachos. Make sure they bring the queso too. Chill Chili dog, extra cheese, boneless wings. You want fries with that? Yeah, can you throw cheese and bacon on them? It's a way better alternative than just saying, screw it. So there's ways to do it, man. And that was the goal of this video, is kind of show you guys that like you can be flexible, you can go out without a plan, without food you're just doing, still hit your goals, man, make things happen. It's the end of the day, it's all your mindset. That's 100%, dieting, all this fitness crap, going to the gym, the cardio, it's all a mindset. You gotta wake up every day with that, I'm not messing up today mindset. You gotta stick to the plan, man. You gotta plan, you execute on that plan every single day, you have no choice but to win. Woo!
I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm gonna get to finishing off my delicious final meal, grilled chicken sandwich, some uh, boneless nuggets, and I could have made all this at home for a quarter of the price, real talk, but hey, it's all for the love of the content, baby. If you enjoyed this video, smash that thumbs up button. If you have an idea for a video you would like to see, put it in the comment box, because someone commented this video and on the last video, and I was like, you know what? I'm, I'm gonna listen to that, that scholar, the smartest comment I've ever read. So leave a comment, smash that like, subscribe if you're not subscribed, we got more great videos coming. And yeah, I will see each and every one of y'all at the next video. See you guys.